Morning everybody, hope you're all enjoying your walk. Sunshine's supposed to last all day, so it should be alright. Slow the tempo down a bit now. You are my darling. I can sit you down upon my knees and tell to me the very reason why I am spited so by thee. I wish I was in some lonely valley where womankind could not be found, where the pretty sweet girl is a job I probably should change their voice and every I put my head in a cask of brandy. It was my fancy, I do declare. For when I was in my bag, I stole the I'm wishing Peggy Gordon was here. I wish I was away in England, far across the briny sea, sailing. I'm wishing Peggy down with me. Oh, Peggy, go down. You are a dad. I think it's probably because of the problem we've had as well. the pubs were opening. A traveller came walking down a cold and lonely stream. He saw a door ajar, walked into the public bar. Landlord, I would like a pint and something nice to eat. I can see some crusty bread and roast beef from Old England. Butter from the churn and tasty wholemeal pickle too. And if you think you could draw some bitter from the wood, 
Maybe I would like to cross a foaming point or two. I'll sit by your fine log fire and contemplate infinity. The quiet of your hostelry will fill my aching heart. And should a regular chance to come into the bar, maybe I'll entice him to a contest with a dog. <coughs> Sit and said the landlord, I got pre-packed fish based sandwiches. Soya sausage substitute I purchased by the ton. And if you fancy it, I might defrost a bit. Serve it up with ketchup on this supermarket bun. I'll pour you a litre pot of fine old English ready brew as advertised on telly by a famous rugby scrum. No filthy barrels here, we serve our tunic beer. Safely paralysed inside this aluminium drum. Sit down by the squire fire, fire squire rather. I'll switch the logs on right away. Maybe you would like to try my latest fruit machine. Three cherries in a row, they all said to write a glow. How about some status quo to really set the scene? But the traveller sat down behind the funny styrene ingle nook and the plastic beams were thumping to that electronic din. Started to bite and chew, took a swig of ready brew, gave a ghastly gurgle then fell dead upon the floor. Oh dear, said the landlord as he switched his colour telly on. Another fatal accident, the fourth this week I fear. If they can't hold their own, why can't they stay at home? Oh my god, I've got some funny blooming customers in here. I'm going to do a Bob Dylan song. <laughs> this is a song of desire called Isis. Now it's about an Egyptian goddess, not about any terrorist organisations or anything like that. It's actually a song about marriage. On the fifth day of May But I could not hold on To her very long So I cut off my hair And I rode straight away To the wild unknown country Where I could not go wrong I 
came to the high place of darkness and light. The dividing line ran through the center of town. I hitched up my pony to a post on the right. I went into a laundry to wash my clothes down. A man in a corner approached me for a match. I knew right away he was not ordinary. He said, are you looking for something easy to catch? I said, I ain't got no money, man. He said, that ain't necessary. <laughs> we set out that night for the cold in the north. I give him my blanket, he give me his word. I said, where are you going? I said, we'll be back by the fourth. I said, that's the best news that I've ever heard. I was thinking about turquoise, I was thinking about gold. I was thinking about diamonds and the world's biggest necklace as we plowed through the canyons and the devilish coal. I was thinking about Isis, how she thought I was so reckless. How she told me, though, that one day we would meet up again. And things would be different the next time we went. If I could only hang on and just be a friend, I still can remember all the best things she said. to the pyramids all embedded in ice he said there's a body i'm trying to find if i can carry it out it'll bring a good price it was then that i knew what he had on his mind the wind it was howling and the snow was outrageous we chopped through the night and we chopped through the dawn when he died i was hoping that it wasn't contagious but i made up my mind i had to go on i broke into the tomb and the casket was empty there was no jewels no nothing i felt i'd been had when i thought that my partner was just being friendly when i took up his offer i must have been mad up his body I carried him inside I threw him down in the hole and I put back the cover I said a quick prayer and I felt satisfied so I rode back to find Isis just to tell her that I love her she was there in the meadow where the creek used to rise blinded by sleep and in need of a bed I came in from the east with the sun in my eyes I cursed her one time then I rode on ahead she said where you been I said no place special she said you look different I said well I guess she said you've been gone I said well that's only natural she said you're gonna stay I said if you want me to yeah You're a mystical child What draws me to you Is what drives me insane I still can't remember The best day you smile On the 5th day of May In the drizzling rain
I'm going to follow that with another slightly rowdy one from Patty Smith. Recognized, I was dreaming, and my senses newly opened. I awakened to the cry that the people have the power to redeem the work of fools upon the means. It is decreed that people rule. People have the power. People have the power, people have the power, people have the power. Vengeful aspects became suspects and bending low as if to ear. And the armies ceased advancing because the people had their ears. And the shepherds and the soldiers lay beneath among the stars, exchanging visions, laying arms to waste in the dust, in the form of shining valleys with the pure air recognized. And my senses newly opened, I awakened to the cry. People have the power, people have the power, people have the power, people have the power. Where there were deserts, I saw fountains like cream, the waters rise. And we strolled there together with none to laugh or criticize. And the leopard and the lamb lay together, truly bound. I was open in my open to recall what I had found. I was dreaming, in my dreaming, God knows a pure view. As I lay down 